Hi, I am RBR. Today we are going to learn tenses. What is tense? Tense is nothing but a time. There are three major tenses, present, past and future. In this grammar section, I'm going to teach all tenses. In this grandiose grammar video lessons, first I'm going to teach you simple present tense. We are going to learn today simple present tense. Let's go and learn. Welcome back to RVR English YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn simple present tense. Before learning this simple present tense, let's know what tense is. What is tense? Tense is nothing but time. We have demarcated time into three major groups, present, past and future. Why we have demarcated like this? Because we wanted to know when we did something, when we are doing something, when we will do something. So we have demarcated time into three major tenses, present, past and future. And every major tense has four sub-tenses, simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. Totally we have 12 tenses in tenses grammar. Today we are going to learn simple present tense. This is the most important tense because in our language we use nearly 60 or 70 percent also in only simple present tense in day-to-day -day life activities. Go there, sit here, I want to go, I go to school. Like this we use very simple simple English. So today we are going to learn simple present tense. Let's learn structure. What is structure? Structure is nothing but a pattern of writing sentence. Every language has its own entity. We could not speak and write English as Telugu and Telugu as English. Observe carefully, you could understand. Cow milk gives. This is Telugu style subject object verb meaning avu palu istundi. But when it comes to English language, it has its own structure. Cow gives milk. If you want to say the same meaning of uh, Telugu in English, you have to write or speak like this. Cow gives milk. Avu palu istundi. Subject, verb, object. See the difference between Telugu and English. There is a world of difference between Telugu and English. When you want to speak or write Telugu, follow the structure. When you want to speak and write English, follow this structure. Don't confuse, don't mix up with these two structures. Let's construct simple present tense sentence first. Then we could understand how to write simple present tense. I write a letter. What is I? It is a pronoun subject. What is right? It is verb present form or V1 verb plus object. So English sentences, it may be other tense. There may be some other helping verbs and main verbs. But here the structure rule is subject verb object. In simple present tense, when you want to speak or write, first construct like this. We sing songs. Same subject, verb, object. You draw a picture. Subject, verb, object. He drinks milk. Subject, verb, object. She makes a mistake. Subject, verb, object. This is the rule of constructing simple present tense. Because every language has its own entity. Some languages are written from right side to left side. Some are written from left to right. And some are pictorial graphs. So every language has its own. So don't mix up with Telugu to English, English to Telugu. We have learned how to construct simple present sentences. Now let's learn how to change statement to negative, negative to yes or no question and WH questions. Let's see first sentence. I write a letter. I do not write a letter. We play chess. 
వి డి నాట్ ప్లే చెస్ మేము చెస్ ఆడము యు డ్రింక్ మిల్క్ నువ్వు పాలు త్రాగుతావు యు డి నాట్ డ్రింక్ మిల్క్ నువ్వు పాలు త్రాగవు హీ సింగ్ సాంగ్స్ అతడి పాటలు పాడతాడు హీ డస్ నాట్ సింగ్ సాంగ్స్ అతడి పాటలు పాడాడు షీ మేక్స్ టీ ఆమె టీ చేస్తుంది షీ డస్ నాట్ మేక్ టీ ఆమె టీ చేయదు ఇట్ రన్స్ ఫాస్ట్ అది వేగంగా పరిగెడుతుంది ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ రన్ ఫాస్ట్ అది వేగంగా పరుగు పెట్టదు దే రీడ్ బుక్స్ దే రీడ్ బుక్స్ వాళ్ళు పుస్తకాలు చదువుతారు దే డి నాట్ రీడ్ బుక్స్ వాళ్ళు పుస్తకాలు చదవరు లైక్ దిస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ ఫస్ట్ సింపుల్ ప్రజెంట్ అండ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ వర్బ్ అండ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ దెన్ కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ నెగిటివ్ సెంటెన్స్ బై యాడింగ్ డూ డస్ ఐ గివ్ సమ్ టిప్ సి హీ సి ఇట్ దేర్ ఇస్ ఎస్ in simple present tense so when we use third person singulars we have to add yes sir es so in simple present tense only we use yes sir es whenever there is a he or she or it immediately add s or es and in negative sentence the yes goes to does the yes becomes does keep in mind we have learnt what simple present tense is and how we could construct sentence in simple present tense now we are going to learn how to construct a sn question and a wh question see this do i write a letter observe carefully the sentence there is statement i write a letter extra words and extra expressions do and question mark why we use do here it is a syntactic marker to express number subject and tense in simple present tense only we use do does to express subject number tense so if the subject is third person singular we use does otherwise we use do so do i write a letter nen uttra rastana why do i write a letter nen enduku uttra rastanu do we play chess man chess aadtama when do we play chess eppudu chess aadtamo do you drink milk nu paalu thragutava how do you drink milk nu paalu ela thragutavu does he sing songs athadi paatalu paadtaada why does he sing songs athadi enduku paatalu paadtaadu does she make tea ame tea chestunda where does she make tea ame ekkada tea chestundi does it run fast adi veganga parigu pedutunda when does it run fast adi eppudu veganga parigu pedutundi do they read a book while pustakam chadutara how do they read a book while a pustakam ela chadutaru like this you can use wh words in wh word questions and you could add do form in sr no question wh word questions and negative sentences please keep in mind now let's learn simple present tense usage rules we learned what present tense is how to construct the sentence now we are going to learn how to use it in english language way to use when to use how to use we are going to learn now we use simple present tense in the following ways habits when you want to speak about your habits or somebody's habits you should use simple present tense he takes tea every day she paints the pictures daily see these two are their habits universal truths what is universal truth the truth is universally all time acceptable that is right today tomorrow will be right as we also will be right the sun rises in the east the sun rose yesterday rises is today and will rise tomorrow so every day it takes place the earth moves round the sun it is also universal truth regular actions when you want to speak of regular actions you have to use simple present tense she goes to school on foot tom sleeps 10 hours a day facts when you want to speak about facts mother loves her children it's a fact i see scared fact general truths the prime minister lives in delhi yes who is the prime minister he lives in delhi they speak english at school most of english schools they speak english at school it's a fact it's a general truth proverbs empty vessels make much noise 
all that glitters is not gold when you want to say proverbs saying or quotes you should use simple present tense next general questions where do you live how are you how do you do see all these questions are in a general questions in simple present tense headlines in newspaper the matter is past tense but headlines are in present the president of america visits india shortly it's headline gold price source high headlines effective storytelling when you want to say past story effectively in present you could tell like this he jumps high and sits on his horseback he rides rides into the fast faster running commentary virat hits a brilliant sixer aswin takes a quick wicket we have learned many new things about the simple present tense now i'm going to give tip how to identify simple present tense in examinations see every day every night every month every year if you see that immediately fill the blank with the simple present tense simple present is nothing but v1 he reads books every day next daily she goes to school daily sometimes they play chess sometimes often jahnavi often goes to temple always shara always reads the text usually suraj usually plays guitar at 6 o'clock manoj gets up at 6 o'clock every day like this you could identify simple present it okay friends and students we have come to end of this session i think you understood it well uh, now this is testing time i'd love to give you a small test to make you know how much you have learned in this video lesson so a small exercise easily you could do if you don't understand go back replay and watch it again until you understand you could do it easily dear students write this test and post it in our group don't forget to like share comment and subscribe our channel and i'm going to release all tenses with the effective rules and effective tips okay students and friends i think you understood it well it's the most important grammar in english language we are going to learn in next video lesson present continuous tense don't forget to like share comment and subscribe our channel thanks for watching our video lessons dear students write down the exercises into your notebook and post it in our group let's meet in another video lesson until bye bye